a quick tutorial on how to disassemble a laptop MSI GF65 in gaming laptop. I have this one, which I can show you photos. Like this, it has RTX 3060 and i7 10th generation CPU. Actually, I decided to install a new SSD because this laptop has two SSD slots. So you can increase capacity of this laptop. Right, you need a screwdriver and plastic pin for this procedure. Uh, I used this uh, SSD to 256 GB of capacity. It is not very huge, but enough for my files. Right, it is an um, two SSD. Actually, you need a screwdriver. Need to shut down laptop. Uh, first, be sure that you have permission to remove this warranty sticker because in some countries it is not allowed to remove this sticker because you will lose the warranty. So I get information from my warranty service that installing new SSD is allowed it for me and I had a permission to do this procedure. All right, so screw off. I recommend you to put all screws in the same position as in the, the, in the bottom base to remember then you want to screw in all your screws back. All right, I know that this middle screw goes to the middle place in the bottom base all right these screws go to this side all right it is easily to install back as i mentioned plastic pin it helps to separate palm rest the top plastic and the bottom base the bottom plastic uh, do it easily without strength. I started from the front, so actually from the screen side. All right, then uh, try to separate sides. And the first side was uh, without USB part. And in the end, I separated part where is USB but because it is uh, separated tightly. Actually, before this part, you need to separate uh, the end part, so there is a heatsink. All right, this part is. Uh, the hardest one to separate this plastic and the palm rims from the bottom base so uh, do it slowly and easily all right so then you remove bottom base you can see this view actually this laptop already has two ram uh, as you can see there is a battery heat sinks and as you can see, I already installed two SSDs. Uh, this this one is original, as you can see, and this one is the another one of SSD that I installed before. All right, can move to another photo and screw off uh, the screw. Actually, this SSD only tights on one screw, so it is pretty easy. Only screw off one screw. And as you can see, SSD pops off, pops out and you can easily remove it and 
the procedure is the same for a new one just put it into a SSD slot and tie it with a screw all right actually also I saw that there are some dusts on the heatsink so with too rough I just clean my heatsink like this one as you can see there there are some dusts so I would recommend to do this procedure right as you can see there are no dusts all right and after installation just checked with hard disk sentinel if everything goes well so KNC, Kingston, Micro, Micron, SSD are working well. So thank you for watching and see you next time.